Hello everyone at Harrison Primary School. Hope you're all well. I've missed seeing you. I'm Mrs Sharp. I'm going to be bringing you some science snacks, which are easy science experiments for you to do if you're at home. Today we're going to be making blooming paper flowers. Come and see. This is what you'll need. A piece of paper. Ordinary printer paper will do fine. It can be plain white like this or coloured. A ballpoint pen or a pencil. Some colouring pencils or wax crayons perhaps. A pair of scissors. Some water, just a little bit and something to put it in. For example, a plate or a dish like this. Well, today I'm going to use one of my cooking trays and I'm just pouring the water in to about one centimetre deep. That's all you need. Right, be ready to go. So what you need to do on your piece of paper is you need to draw a flower shape about this big, about 10 centimetres wide. The way I did this one was I drew the inside of a little roll of tape here. Then I used my finger and I drew around that to make the petals. You'll need about six to eight petals. They need to be about the same length as the centre of the flower. It doesn't matter how many you draw, just try and draw them nice and neatly. Then the fun comes. You can colour in your flower. Lots of different ways you can think of colouring your petals. All the same, all different. It's right up to you. Next, you need to take your pair of scissors and start to cut out the flower. Very carefully, all the way around the petals. And make sure you cut them right down to where the centre of the flower is, so that each petal is separate from the others. Here's one I did earlier. The last step that you need to do is to very carefully fold in each petal, one at a time, towards the middle of the flower, like that. Go all the way around, and you should have a neatly folded up flower at the end. Right. The last thing is to take your tray with a little bit of water in it and very carefully place this on the surface of the water with the folded petals pointing upwards and watch and see. What do you think is going to happen? So this is what you should find happening. The petals Watch carefully, should start to open as if by magic. But it's not magic. Of course there's a science explanation here. When the paper touches the water, it starts to soak up or absorb the water. It gets wet, like a paper towel does when you're wiping up spills. The paper is made from lots of little fibres. They're crisscrossed and woven together with lots of very, very small gaps in between them. The water likes these fibres. It's attracted to them. It moves upwards and along the fibres and soaks into them. They swell up and they start to change shape. And the folded parts of the petal act a bit like a door hinge. They swing open and the petals open up and the flower blooms. This process is called capillary action. It's partly how water moves through plants and up to the tops of trees. So here are some of the things that you can investigate and explore. You might like to change the shape or the number of the petals. If you go on the internet and search for blooming paper flowers in water, you'll find some websites which have templates that you can download. So if you don't want to draw your own, you might find it easier to get some ideas from there. You might like to change the size of the flower. Try small ones. Try a big one. Why not try it in the bath? Or maybe you can try putting a flower within some leaves and seeing what happens. Can you get it to work with one flower sitting inside another? Maybe you'd like to try different pens and pencils. Now, I suggested that you used coloured pencil crayons or wax crayons. That's because if you use felt tip pens, the washable inks often, quite often, spread out and um, move about in the water and the colour runs a bit. But that might be quite interesting and pretty. 
you might want to try that or highlighter pens just to see what effects you get. If you're being a true scientist, you might like to take your timer, your kitchen timer, and time how long each different type of flower takes to open. Get some numerical data, that's what scientists like to do. And here's an idea. Maybe you might like to put a little secret message inside your flower and give it to someone special. There's a hidden message inside this flower. Keep watching. Keep well, everyone.